MoneymakerSpy.com and HOMedia.us. And we're here today to do a video screen capture tutorial for WordPress search engine optimization, class 101 for beginners. And today what we're going to learn how to do is put in the ping sequences for the search engine indexes. And I know that means not much to you, but all I can say is if you follow this easy five minute video, when you put a post on your website or post a new piece of content on a page on your website, your website will be seen by tens of thousands more search engines than leaving it in the default format. So let's get straight to work. Site setup. I keep a login or a, a meta box on the right sidebar of my website. But a lot of our sites now are uh, don't have sidebars. So you can put the login button up in the main menu that'll run across your header. Or you can put it in the footer. Many places to put it. Once you get inside or logged into your WordPress site, what you're going to want to do is go to the dashboard. And if you can't figure out where your dashboard is, it's always the name of your site. Mine is moneymakerspy.com. And then slash WP hyphen admin. WP hyphen admin will take you to the administrator's dashboard. The actual true URL for that, I believe, is WP hyphen admin dashboard dot php that right there yeah, I think that's the actual address of where we're at either way once you get to your dashboard you'll see that there's a bunch of left side menus over here and uh, there's all types of settings and plugins how you change your appearance how you find pages and posts etc and what we're going to look for is settings these are the main settings of the site itself when you hold your mouse over settings you're gonna see that these other uh, settings come up and I believe we are looking for writing So I'm gonna click on writing go to the writing settings and this is gonna be the first basic SEO tactic you're gonna perform on your website aside from maybe giving it a title when you gave your website a title and a tagline that was like the first thing the search engine saw um, so this is the writing settings and it asks you for a bunch of things here it asks you for your formatting and how you want your uh, emoticons um, it asks you some things about XHTML for WordPress your default post category is here so whatever you have this set to, if you make a blog post and don't set what category it is, this is the default category it'll take to. Uh, the default post format, if you do not set one when you're making a blog post, this is the format that it will default to. Press this is the little tool that I was telling you guys about that if you take this and you drag it up to your toolbar and drop it and now it says press this up here that means that anytime I go to a web page and I see something that's cool if I see a cool article a cool image maybe a quote from somebody famous maybe a tweet something on Facebook and I like it a lot and I want to put it on my website on my blog as a post all I would do is come up here and click press this it will automatically create a blog post about the page you're on allow you to add a category and a little comment to it click send or publish and it will make a blog post for you very cool feature if you have more questions about that inside your WordPress site now when you go to this help button over here we now have 170 tutorial videos behind these help buttons and they're all strategically placed throughout the site if you hit this help button the video for these writing settings will come up and teach you all about them so until uh, we get you guys used to using that um, still gonna be making these videos for you because I feel it's the best way to show you how to do stuff 
you scroll down a little further in the settings and there's some stuff about a mail server and login name password etc we don't need to get into that right now until we get into our autoresponder stuff and when we get into mobile posting that's when you make blog posts blog posts from your mobile phone what we're looking for is these update services and update services are for when you publish a new post WordPress automatically notifies the site services the site update services these are indexes this is uh, your Google's and your Bing's your Yahoo's your blog indexes um, even sites like Pinterest and Tumblr and dig reddit pocket <clears throat> They all have indexes and they all get updated. Yours by default probably has this one address in it and that is the place that it's going to tell if you've made a new post it's going to notify this website it's actually a feed service that you've posted new content on your site. That triggers something within their system to send out a little spider robot to your site and goes over your content again and re-indexes your pages in the search engine. So you will quickly get updated and get any change in ranking that you deserve for putting up new updated content. Well, you can put more than one index here. So what I have done is I have taken uh, the time to put together a list of all the active services that accept blog entries or blogs as uh, index entries and that accept them manually and I made a list of them and I don't know there's about 20 of them so I'm going to copy all of these these are all the services here all the search engines all the indexes around the world I'm going to copy those and I'm going to put them in a document and I'm going to send them to you guys and I'm also going to post them on the web on the website for you but I wanted you to see that it was in settings it was under writing and it's the thing called updated update services you're gonna paste this list of links I give you in this box and when you're done you're gonna click on save changes what that's gonna do is when you make a blog post instead of submitting it to one index it's going to submit it to about 20 or 30. Each one of those indexes represents billions of pages, billions of websites. So each and every one is equally important and it's tr going to help your traffic tremendously once you start ranking in the search engines, which hopefully will be pretty soon. So look out, the e look out for the email from me use this video to get that installed and that'll be your first really uh, WordPress administration task um, that's directly related to SEO that you'll be doing and that search engine optimization it is often our it is also the number one most overlooked item in SEO is changing your ping services so you're going to be taking care of that and you're going to be ahead of 98% of the blogs on the internet by updating yours. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This is Shane Hopkins from MoneymakerSpy.com and High Output Media at HOMedia.us. And please remember to watch our new podcast this week where we'll be going over other WordPress tips, tricks, and tactical strategies for creating the perfect online business model. Thank you.